This is the bridge over the River Kwai that the POWs built for the Japanese on the Kai Burma Railroad. There was an original bridge made out of wood, but it was only up for about two months. And it was so bulky it blocked the river flow, so they built this steel and concrete bridge in order to not block the river. And they uh, tore the wooden one down. And originally this was not the River Kwai. The movie came out in 1957, won Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, Oscar, Alec Guinness, for uh, his portrayal of the Colonel, and uh, none of which happened. And so there were so many tourists that showed up here, they renamed the river to the River Kwai. So many tourists have showed up that they put these steel plates on the track so you can walk across it. And you can see there's tons of people. Now this is still an active train track. And tomorrow I hope to take the train up to Nam Tok so I can see Hellfire Pass, which was a cut that they made through the mountain and thousands died trying to build it. The river here is pretty wide. Well, the bridge is actually pretty long, a lot longer than I remembered it from the movie, because the movie was not even shot in Thailand. The movie was shot in Sri Lanka. And the guy that wrote the book never came here. So pretty much most of the story is made up. The basic premise is true. The Japanese needed a rail line from Thailand to Burma, which is now Myanmar, to carry supplies. Otherwise, they had a 2,000 mile boat trip to get to Miramar and submarines, U.S. Allied submarines sank so many of their boats they said we've got to build this 250 mile long railroad. You can see how long the bridge is. I'm still walking on it. I don't really know how long it is to be honest with you. The bridge is actually in the little town of Canchuberry or Canchuberry and it's a teeny tiny town, and its big deal is this bridge, and it's a tourist attraction. I'm surprised they don't have railings, so my butt doesn't fall over the side. Oh, dog. The Thai are, in, the Thai are incredibly um, ingenious in terms of, of uh, starting business instead of sitting on the side begging for money like I've seen in the other countries if they can throw up a piece of tin or a tarp they'll sell something sit there all day long to sell two nails if that's all they've got and they'll sit there until those two nails are sold we stopped at a ton of rail stops on the way up here on the train from Bangkok and every one of them had their own temples their own shrine to Buddha I had to walk over here, which is why you saw that Buddha stuff, so I could get this shot of the bridge. And there's, that looks like one, two big spans and a bunch of little spans. The concrete's original, and some of the steel is original from well, from the from the POWs building the bridge. Unlike the movie, the prisoners did not blow the place up. Uh, it was bombed during the, during World War II by the Allies and has and was repaired after that, but they knocked it out of commission for a while. And so this is the big attraction in Canterbury. Now about I'm about 60 miles northwest of uh, Bangkok, and then tomorrow I'm gonna probably take the train again, cross over this bridge on the train, and then go up to. Some fancy, some viaduct, which is basically a, the train tracks in the side of the rock mountain along the river, and then to a place called Hellfire Pass.